Hey everybody, Gigantic Bean here. Um, got a new deck with Manic Vandals, and if you're watching us, <laughs> love for you to follow us, subscribe. If you're coming over from TikTok, uh, thank all our followers there that are crossing over. And uh, and yeah, so we got a new deck. It's an eye mid-range deck. Um, something thrown together kind of quick, uh, and um, we'll see how it does. The, the Showdown of Scows is the only reason to run red and white. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I think so. But, uh, you know, we're, we're tying in some other things. We got Gold Span Dragon. Let's go through it real quick. Um, running three copies of Fateful Absence. Of course, that's going to help us destroy uh, <coughs> any target creature or Planeswalker, but they do get a, to draw a card from it. Um, also, well, they get a token to draw a card. Um, three copies of Thalia, Thalia Guardian Thraven. So hopefully to slow things down. We're a little bit slow in the beginning so we need something to kind of keep the pace off of them a little bit hopefully we'll draw one of these early um first strike non-creature spells cost one more to cast that's also a tax for us but we'll have to eat it uh four copies of proper prosperous innkeeper uh brings us a treasure token into play and also lets us get life off of any creature it comes in thereafter uh three copies of elite spell pounder um comes into play let's just look at target opponent's hand and exile that a single card um, and make that individual pay more to have it cast um, three copies of reckless reckless storm seeker um, he comes into play and um, he gives any creature at the beginning of combat he can give any creature plus one plus zero in haste and that includes um, himself and of course the flip side of him is uh nighttime he gets plus two plus zero and he becomes a three four um, and Briarbridge Tracker, three cost, uh, two, three, with Vigilance that comes into play. We get a token that allows it to have plus two, plus zero. Um, so it becomes a four, three. That's good economy for three mana. Uh, four copies of Seek a Chariot. We all know who that is. Uh, one copy of Helena and Elena. Um, and this is a uh, red, green, and two colors. First Strike Reach. And at the beginning of combat, we get to put X plus one plus one counters on another target creature you control where X is Helena and Elena's power. And that creature gains haste as well. Um, four copies of Showdown of Scows. Everyone should know what that card does. Four Goldspan Dragons. Just we know what that does. Uh, three Ren and Sevens. We all know those cards. We're running two lands. Uh, two planes, rather, two mountains, one forest, one layer of the Hydra, two Craig Crown pathways, three rock veil, <laughs> rock fall veils, and four needle verge pathways, uh, three sundown pass, four branch off pathways, and two overgrown farmlands. Whew. So the success on this has been 50 50. Um, I was running Brutal Cathars in there. And I had three copies of that in there, and so or four copies rather. So I took those out, added the three Thalias, and also added Helena, and Elena, and we'll see how that does. And I hope everyone is dodging the Omnicron uh, as best they can. I think Church got it, I had it, and my whole family had it. It was just sad that it was about a week apart. All right, well, like I said, we're slow to start. Two man, I probably should not have kept, but we'll see. We'll go for red first. Hopefully, we'll get our white later. Oh boy, eh, there's our green. It's going to drop it. Well, the great thing is we're on the play. Going against Travis T. Jones. 1990. I believe I played this guy before. Concealing curtains. Yeah, he likes those cards. All right, so let's go ahead and drop green, red. What do we got over here? We'll drop white. Doesn't do any good to uh, attack. You'll probably get rid of Helena. Scalds he can't do much about, but Stormseeker will transform if he doesn't do anything about that. So, ideally, yeah, I was going to say ideally, it would be nice if he didn't uh, do that. Hmm. 
Hmm. I was gonna say, I would have been surprised if he didn't. Okay, I hear you. Put down past. We will let go on and bring this in. We'll play the scards. That out. Oh joy. Yes, buddy. We're going for it. I'll take that trade. We will play Ren and Seven next turn. He is just awful, isn't he? I mean, he really is. <laughs> and he flipped us back, which is fine. Wow. Sorry. I'm going to play round seven. Oh, baby. Ah, rain can die. Travis. Yeah, we ain't gonna die. Is he gonna hold up? The forest. Faceless Haven? Oh, there you go. That's a good card. Hmm. That's a card too. So what should I do here, folks? You just go all balls in. Oh, all in, I should say. Yeah, let's attack him. I mean, everything's going to die. So... I wonder if I... No, I didn't. Oh, well. Yeah, he's got a block. Mm -hmm. And end our turn. Even if he drains us our, our hand, we'll tackle the lair. Okay. Fun. We're going to face with this. Hmm. No. I don't think you can. I think you'll know. him to die. I'm gonna let him draw a card. I'll pay that baby. Yeah, drop it 
in for white. Why not? Yes, that's what I would have done too. Duke, mm, you nice. my servant. I'm busy. I know Scavenger's a good card. I love that card. Game five, if I don't want it. I think so. I have to do this, but it is what it is. Ah, uh, put it on him. All right, and we'll put it on him. I could have fired up the other guy. Oh, that's church. And we got a victory. All righty. Sorry, y'all. Talking about a little treat we're going to have for you guys on our next podcast it's going to be well i hope it's funny and uh and i'll go on preface everything everything that we're going to be doing is for fun and uh and, and if you watched any of our podcasts um you'll certainly know that we, that we don't take ourselves seriously and uh and probably not seriously as we should but uh we do however there are my earbuds. We do, however, um, um, like to poke fun at things. And uh, in a healthy way, I'll say. So, so we don't offend anybody, and that's not our goal. So. Kablooids! Yeah, that's happened to me a time or two in Magic. Um, yeah, nothing going on past turn two. We don't have white, but we're going to keep it. We'll just see how it goes. Probably going against mono red or mono white, and we'll tank right off the start. We probably should have mulligan. He's got the blood bag going there. Dirtying up the place. Go and drop the veil. Mm, okay. Is it snap? I don't know. We still don't have the. Let's see. White would be nice. Probably gonna eat my poor little reckless storm seeker alive. Oh, he's gonna steal something. That is one of my most hated cards right there. And oddly enough, I only have one of them. And uh he must be a big decision. Well, I got a dragon, yay. 
All right, we'll drop for green. Yes. And all attack. Mm, black, red, and blue. How do you do that, Charlie? All right. That was coming. He's got the dragon. Good for him. Hope I can keep pace. He's got his own dragon. So hopefully he didn't steal mine. Louis, good game. <laughs> I like Siphon Insight. I just hate it when it's done to me. Alright. See if we can grab one more. See how we do here. Uh, we got Arch Ghoul. Alright, gentlemen. Valentine's Day is fast approaching. It's like after that, then it's Easter, Fourth of July, Memorial Day, Memorial Day, Fourth of July. Yeah. And then my wedding anniversary. Yeah. A slurp lord. Okay, this one's a little better. We'll keep. Thanks, Otto. I think we'll turn to Thalia. Yeah. We'll have to wait on our red. Anyway, red depends. Is a five mana. Okay, so he's running black, Lagari. Oh boy, we got one of our red. White. We're going to play Thalia. Have the uh, whenever another multi 
No, I'll save it. Oh, that's coming out. Innkeeper's name. Oh my god. Huh. Well, I could cook Magda. I could go and stop some of that rampness. Let's see what he's got in his hand first. Everything I hate. Okay, so you battlefield. So he can make one, two, he can make four. So if he can make four, means he can put him in or them. Let's get that. Okay. If he didn't draw a land. If he drew a land, then he could pop a dragon in. This is going to be tough. Yep, it is. He's setting a dragon for next turn. Yep. We'll trade. Okay. So, we have four mana. So what can we do? Nothing. Really? I'm gonna save that. Slurp Lord's got me. Playing it almost the exact same deck. Except he's running the Predators and the Sentinel and Magda. No, it's not the exact same deck. Yeah. 
And Thalia's not there. doing anything. So Helena can come out three, four, five. Yeah, Helena can come out. I'll be He's gonna swing for five. If Helena comes out, I'll be swinging for seven. This is the only time Brutal Cathar would be good. game Amazing, he only had three mana this whole game. It's a good game, though. So, the one thing this deck is missing is either. Is either uh, Doomscar or Burn Down the House. I'm gonna go in the lane, come through. Not a lot I could do. Nothing I could do with uh, the Predator. All right, guys. Well, that's the deck. We're in about 30 minutes. I know it's a short one tonight. I gotta get up early in the morning. Um, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, if not, tell us what we can do to do some, something better. And uh, do appreciate your time. Hope you all have a great day. And uh, we'll be seeing you.